Hello everyone. In this video, we will see sample ASP.NET Web API RESTful service. So let's go to Visual Studio. Click on File, New Project, ASP.NET Web Application. Give name to your Web API project. Click on OK. Then select MT and Web API. Click on OK. Add new controller. That is a Web API controller. MT controller. Click on Add. Give name to your controller. Okay, so employee controller is added in our project. So this employee controller is inherited from API controller. So in normal ASP.NET MVC application, if you see any controller, that controller is inherited from controller class. But in Web API, any controller is inherited from API controller. Okay, that's a difference. So in this application, we'll connect to SQL Server and we'll fetch data from SQL Server database. Okay, so in SQL Server, I have created one database called as organization. And in organization database, there is a table employee. Okay, so go to Visual Studio and add entity data model. Click on data, select ADO.NET entity data model give name to your entity data model click on add select code first from database okay click on new connection give credential to your sql server database select database organization you can check your connection by clicking on test connection click on ok click on yes it will add password in your connection string click on next select tables you can see here employee table is selected and then click on finish so if you see model folder there is an employee class and organization db model class so in employee class there are multiple properties like id name department and address and in organization db model there is a db set properties okay so go to employee controller in employee controller add one method to get the employee from database okay so employee type of employee okay so we need to add namespace okay so you can fetch employee class in employee controller class okay so using organization db model we need to create object of organization db model contest class return db dot so you can see here employees entity okay dot to list okay so this get method 
in this get method we have created object of organization db model class and we just return employees entity from this method okay so add one another method to get the single entity where we need to give first or default record and here we need to return single entity so we need to add employee class only okay so let's run okay if you see abstract folder in abstract folder there is a web api config.cs class so here if you see default api so we need to give api and then controller name then go to browser add api and then controller name you can see here two records are shown here if you go to database two records are here test and web api test so same two records are displayed here there is another method in our employee controller get and we need to pass id of employee so i am passing here id as a 2 okay so first record is displayed here like 2 has a name test department it and address is india so same record is displayed here okay so in next video we'll see another method like put post and delete